Hey there everyone, it's Brad Fusion here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and just recently they released a new update that actually changes quite a lot of things, including world generation. Now, I didn't realize this at first, because when I checked the change logs weren't out, but they are now. And just a quick warning or PSA, if you go to custom world and try to create Easy Start 364-bit, your game will crash. I currently can't get this to create any worlds. The others work fine, but Easy Start 3 for whatever reason doesn't work just yet. Maybe there's a bug or something. But something that they also have implemented is auto healing. Now, I don't know whether this actually works or not. I haven't actually had a chance to try it out. I did create a world that does have auto healing turned off, so I'm yet to actually damage myself to see what it does. But I just thought before I get into the actual video, I'll give you guys a warning about the Easy Start 3. Just keep in mind that this currently does not work. I'll probably update it in the comments down below if they do fix it but uh, currently it does not work so now we'll move on to the actual world where there are quite a few more changes hey guys what's going on it's bright fusion here and today i am showing you guys the latest update for space engineers which contains changeable lights toggleable drills open and closable doors and rotating gatling guns so i'm going to keep it nice and short so first off you have the editable lights which you can Simply use the console to go into, and you can change the colors here by dragging and sliding the bars around, which is cool. You can also change the strength of it and the radius. Keeping the fall off on the lowest is always the best, however, if you want it to fall off a lot quicker, change up the higher settings. Intensity is always best, but I mean, that's just me messing around with the lights. So let's uh, go different colors here so you guys can see what exactly I'm talking about. Let's turn all this off. That's on. Let's go back down here. High radius low fall off and high intensity let's turn this down turn this down turn this all the way up high radius low fall off i should have done this before but i figured you guys should see how the settings and everything works and i'll just leave that on oh, let's go let's go random color let's go uh, orange color because it's my color so there we go there's a there's my orange perfect and high radius low fall off high intensity and on 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 and on okay so perfect all the lights in all the world are currently on and they are bright and they are beautiful. I love the lighting in this and it seems like they've optimized lighting ever so slightly. I wouldn't say I would suggest spamming them just yet because, well, that isn't exactly the best of ideas. So I'm going to get out of here and leave these lights on because they just look really, really cool. And they're really, really bright, obviously because I set up on the highest. So uh, let's let's just have some fun here. Let's uh, set these spinning by turning the... Uh, <coughs> pardon me by turning the velocity on, just to get them spinning around. Ah, let's make it faster, because, you know, fast is always better. There we go, perfect. So there we go, we've got our little mini disco going, so I guess that's one use for them. And the doors, doors now work, which is cool. Now, currently pressing T on the door does not allow the door to open, so you have to press K, and that allows you to open and close the door like that. You can also do it with any other door. If you go through here and you just open up the other ones, like so. I don't know why I'm starting to cough now, considering the last video I was perfectly fine. But you now get how doors work. You can't walk through them, obviously, that's how doors normally work. Now the next thing uh, coming up is the drills can now be toggled on and off, which now allows you to stick them on the end of motors, which allows you to rotate them. Now, this does turn your ship in a little bit of a wonky, out-of-control state, so I don't usually recommend this. But for the sake of it, I'll go and turn it on so you guys can see what trauma this causes it's a uh, i don't know maybe having gyroscopes amongst other things will be beneficial but currently i don't really see much of a point in it at all honestly there you go i've slowed it down i managed to stabilize it just a, just a tad just a tad using gyroscopes uh but that's probably the best best you're gonna get out of it that's that's the best stabilization you can get for the Engine. Now, if I get back into the ship, which I'll do now, uh, I can fly around. Let's go to a different view here so you guys can see the drill. The wonderful, wonderful drill. I'm actually locked in by something else. God damn it, why is that happening now? Let me just get rid of it. I don't need it down there, so it won't stay down there. Perfect. Okay, now the ship is starting to rock around like crazy, which is what it was doing before, which uh, kind of negates the point of having the drill because it's just so absurd and you can't turn it off unless you get back out and turn it off yourself. What you can do, I guess, is you can turn the rotor on, you know, have it just f f spinning around, I guess just for fun. I wouldn't recommend mining like this, but 
you know, you can, I guess. I mean, there are whole different purposes why you would want a toggleable drill, and I doubt this is one of them. Because this is the most uh, weirdest way you could probably choose to mine. So, uh, yeah. They're like, they're like, like I said, there are other things you can obviously do with this, and I've just been an idiot and decided to stick it on, on the top of a ship like a helicopter. And yeah, just made a fool of myself. But, I mean, I can imagine sticking it on a large rotatable disc full of drills that you then mine with without having to, uh, sit, like, having... <laughs> Sorry, so you can have them on the end of a motor and they can still work, and that's one way to get it done. The last thing is Gatling guns now rotate, and what that means is they have an animation for rotating. Like so. What was I shooting at something? I was too. And uh, the sounds have actually changed, they sound a little bit more tinkery, which is something that I thought was quite uh, quite interesting. So uh, there's that as well. And as far as I know, that's the only changes, there has been a few fixes as well. But uh, that's it for this update, thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.